guys, welcome back to my channel, Sharp Designs by Lakeisha, where I am designing my way through life and balling on a budget. Happy New Year to you all. Um, hope everybody is having a good start to the year. I know I am. As I said last year, I've been working on projects around the house, and I had these leftover paper flowers from the Mommies to Be Baby shower that I did. It was actually this time last year, so if you haven't seen that vlog, be sure to go check that out to see how I use these for our baby shower. Um, I pretty much decided to use these to make a piece of wall art for my guest bedroom. Um, paper flowers are really easy and fun to make. They do take a little bit of time. It's a super fun way to add a pop of color to any room because you can get paper in pretty much any color. Um, like me, I had this wall space empty for some time and I could never find a picture that I absolutely love to go in here. So I said, you know what? I just, you know, make something. That's what I do anyway. <laughs> so I did go ahead and give that a try and I do think it came out beautifully. I took the flowers and kind of added a new twist to them by adding some bling to some of them. I took my Sharpie and did some uh, black etching along the outside of some and I even made some super cute centerpieces uh, for some of them and I showed you guys how to do all of that in this video. I've even used them for Dakota's nursery. I've showed you guys that. I made some for my friend's daughter for above her nursery. So yeah, you can use paper flowers for more than just events. Um, this is also a cool way to add some pizzazz to your dessert table or if you want to decide to do a larger one, you can actually do that and make a paper flower wall, a huge one. So yeah, my very first video on this channel was actually a paper flower tutorial because at one point I was very obsessed with them. I still love them, but I don't make them as much anymore. I'm kind of found my way loving balloons a little more, so I've been diving and dabbing in that. But yes, so please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. Go ahead and hit that button and I will see you guys in the next vlog. So this is what we're going to be using today to do our project. I have some black wrapping paper. I have a piece of foam board. This is actually what they use to make walls and homes. I use this to do my paper flower walls. So I did a smaller square. I cut it out and that's what I'm gonna be using. And then I have some leftover paper flowers from my mommy-to-be baby shower. If you watch that, then you know exactly what these were used for. Then I'll also be using my handy dandy hot glue gun, some hot glue gun sticks, and some rhinestones and a bit of bling to the flowers. Now because my board is pretty beat up, I don't wanna just put the paper flowers on there like that because you can see through some of the gaps in the flowers. So I'm gonna use this wrapping paper that I showed you guys a second ago and cover it so that I have a completely black background to attach my flowers to. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my hot glue gun plugged up so it'll be nice and hot for me when I'm ready for it. You can use any color wrapping paper of your choice or any type of cardstock that you want to use to put on the background. Make sure you have some good heavy tape to adhere the paper to the board or you can hot glue it. You just want to make sure that that paper is not going to come off once you put your flowers on it. All right, so I have the board all wrapped up and ready to go. It's not perfect, but it's okay because the paper flowers will be going on top of it. So I'm, what I'm gonna do next is arrange my flowers, how I want them on the board before I glue them down. So this is how I decided on organizing them. As you can see, I did leave some space on the outside of the flowers on the corners. And that's because I'm gonna add some leaves to accentuate it and give it a little more pop. So what I'm about to do now is go ahead and start hot gluing my flowers to the board. So I showed this to you guys earlier. It's basically some adhesive gemstones that I got from Hobby Lobby for 50% off. It's regular $7.99. I'm gonna take this and add it to a few of the flowers to add a bit of glam. So it comes off pretty easy and if you pull it right, it should come off in a, a continuous strip. So you just take it and add it to wherever you want to. I think I'm gonna start off with one of my bigger flowers since those stand out more. And just use the adhesive on the back and just line it up where you want it to go. Larger blings 
that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. I'm going to use those to place in the center. So besides the bling, I also did some with these cute centers and I can show you how I did those. So in order to make that center, you're just going to take a piece of your paper or your cardboard, post board, cut it long ways like this, and you're just going to fold it in half all the way across. doesn't have to be perfect. There's, and you're just going to cut slits in it all the way across again they don't have to be perfect after you cut your slits all the way across we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna roll it you're gonna put a little bit of hot glue over here which I'm gonna run and do really quick we're gonna take the hot glue gun do a little line And then we're going to roll it. Right, you just want to bend it down a little. And then you're just going to put a little bit of glue on the perimeter of it. Pick a flower. And stick it there. And let it dry. And once it dries, you can do a little bit more. All right, guys, so I have the poster board that I showed you guys earlier um, at the very beginning of the video. I, as you can see, I've already cut it a few leaves out, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. I usually like to start at the corners and I kind of cut off into the board in the shape of a leaf. And then I'm gonna come back down the front. And then on the other side, I'm gonna work my way down to the corner that I cut as you can see it's not perfect this one's a little rough because I was trying to do it and hold it in front of the camera at the same time but either way it's still gonna be a leaf next thing I'm gonna do is fold it in half I try to keep it starting with that point there and then I'm just going to put a crease in there. And then starting from the front, I bend it forward and backward. Try to make creases. And then when I get to the end, push it in a little more. And then I open it up. And voila, we have a leaf. Now this one is like I said a little funny, so I can always go in here, round it off a little more. Get this a little better. And then all I do is place hot glue on the end and then stick it where I want it and press it down. So guys, I also took my Sharpie and drew around the very outside of some of the flowers. I went inward on a few of them to give it a little bit of character. The fun part about paper flowers is that flowers aren't perfect. So when you're doing your paper flowers, they don't have to be perfect, guys. The petals are all going to be different. The leaves are all going to be different. Just have fun with it. 
So now I'm just gonna go hang this beauty up so we can see how she looks. All right, guys, so I thought I was finished, but then I remembered I had this jar of jewels that I got from Hobby Lobby um, when they had them 50% off, and I scattered a few on the plain part of the paper. And I think it looks so cute. So what I'm gonna do is add some of these to the ends where I don't have any leaves. So after I do this, then we're done, and I'll show you guys the finished product. 